Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, doing an unboxing of Prelude to Vicksburg, the Chickasaw Bayou, December 26th to 29th, 1862, part of the American Civil War series from Revolution Games. This is based on Herman Lutman's excellent blind sword system. This is volume nine. I believe they're up to 10 now. Um, there's two, two of these that came out about the same time. There's another one already scheduled for later this year. So, uh, you know, they're gonna eventually have it where you can just play the entire Civil War using uh, that, that excellent blind swords chip pull system, which of course, uh, being a chip pull makes it very, 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 very solo friendly. So it's true solo playing both sides but you don't know who's going to get to activate, so you just, you know, you pull the chits and see which chit hits the fan, so to speak. So anyway, let's dig into this one, see what you get inside. All right, so you got to turn it sideways because <laughs> the box runs landscape, but... And they're so beautiful. I mean, the, the classic artwork that's on the cover. Uh, just very nice, that little, little uh, pen and ink drawing there. Very cool, the prelude to Vicksburg. All right, so we start out with a couple of dice. We've got red with white pips and white with red pips. Very tiny dice, but let's see who wins. Red wins six to three red with white pips versus white with red pips. All right, so we start out with the, this is the, what the, if you got the bagged version, they come in boxed and bagged versions usually. So this is the, what would be the cover in the bagged version, but being smart, as usual, they make it your turn record track as well. So you're gonna get that. December 26th, you get your hours, or your, your days through the 29th and then the hours of the day for fighting. Your broken track, standard for the system. And so you get that on the back of this. And it's on coated cardstock, very good quality. And because it's a two-player game, we're gonna get two copies. Also on very nice coated cardstock of the combat results table. I like how this one, the system, if you don't know, it uses the two dice, but then it's the, the two digits. So you get, you know, a one and a one is not a two, it's a 11, you know, one, one, and then go all the way up through six, six. So that's your die results. And you use a red and a white die. So yeah, it's gonna work for you. So it already tells you which one's gonna be the leftmost color. All right, so anyway, you get two copies of this. We'll look at one, there's your CRT. And on the other side, your cohesion tests and your terrain keys. For the system, so you get two copies of that. Then we've got our Prelude to Vicksburg sequence of play. Now these are black and white. They are on coated cardstock, as usual, but you get two of each, uh, which gives the whole sequence of play, your terrain effects chart, your brigade order details, artillery stacking rules, strength points, things like that. And then on the back, this one's for the Confederates. It's got the Confederate event descriptions for the chits that you draw that aren't, unit, or aren't brigades that activate, but they are events that come up, and there's one for the Union. And the Union gets color. We get gray. Well, we are yellow there too, so I guess it's color on this side. So very cool. So two of those. And then we've got a half sheet, again, coated cardstock, single-sided, Confederate Brigade activation display, Union Brigade activation display cards. Smith's Division, Morgan's Division, CIC, Smith's Division, Steele's Division. And then we also have, we have ML Smith's Division for the Union and M Smith's Division for the Confederates. And then SD Lee for the Confederates. All right, then we have our 2024 version 1.2 Blind Sword series rules. Like most large series of games, this comes with the series rules, which will apply to all the games. And then we'll have the exclusive rules for Prelude to Vicksburg, which we'll look at in a minute. But these are only 16 pages of rules. You see it's very large print. It's black and white. It's very dense. Not a lot of uh, graphics to support it. But my understanding from playing this 
if I can understand the name, I can understand it. It's very easy to read. It's just, this is just, you know, the meat and potatoes of the game. Then we've got our exclusive rule book, which also comes in at 16 pages. Now this is, this is full color. And this is the specific rules for Prelude to Vicksburg, uh, which is designed by Stephen Oliver, if I could mention that. Each, the, Herman Lutman designed a few at the beginning and then, and then other people who, with a good history of the, of the different battles, have, have, have applied that knowledge to create the, uh, the uh, edition in the series for that particular battle. So it's really cool that it's not just monolithically one designer. So then you get into this one, it's a little larger print. It does have a little more color to it. it. Does have some examples of how it's going to apply, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's pretty cool. So you'll need to know the series rules, then you need to know the exceptions to the series rules just for this mission. Mission. Let's make this battle. All right, now we got two sheets of counters here. So the first sheet is the actual counters. So we've got our Confederates and our and our Union here, and we've got the chits. And then you know the chit poles here that allow you to activate the different. Uh, brigades. Uh, we got the event chips. We got some markers here for the rebels are low on ammo, uh, and then there are event chips for the Union here. The event chips for the for the Confederates. Very nicely laid out. These are not pre-rounded. You will need to punch these and round them with an original ammunition's 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the correct tool for the job. Um, but there's this one. So this is this is the counters mostly. Uh, for the units and then these, and there's a few markers in here, but then this sheet looks to be mostly markers. It's got a lot of shaken markers. Uh, we've got some uh, some emplacements here, uh, skirmish orders, impediment, and your turn trackers, and then your fire move markers to let you know that you've fired and moved. So for the rebels, and you can flip them over and use the same bullet counters for the, the Union. And then we've got our map in the great, excellent style that we that you love about the series. And this is a 17 by 22 map. Is that right? No, it's 22, no, it's 20 by 34 map, I should say, excuse me. Very nice artwork. There's a lot of, a lot of water in this one. Let's zoom out as best we can here for the view of the map. All right, so you see it's Prelude to Vicksburg. And a lot of a lot of water. So we've got this marshy kind of or foresty kind of island in the stream. That is what we are. Swamp, Cypress Swamp, Bliss Creek. So they've one thing I'm noticing here. So we see a little flat lake, farm road, cultivated field. So they've kept the artwork style very, very similar uh, to the late great um, Rick Barber. But one thing they've done, I think, he, I think he used a hand letter, everything, and this is, this is obviously a, is a font that's being used for consistency and easy, e more ease to read. So it's, I think that's probably a good thing, because sometimes the, the hand printing was a little hard to read. But, uh, no, this is really still very nice, very stylistic, very evocative of a, of an old map. Um, so very cool. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Prelude to Vicksburg from Revolution Games, Volume 9 in the uh, Blind Sword series, designed by Herman, uh, created by Herman Lutman, this one's designed by Charles Oliver, you're going to get that uh, 17, or excuse me, the 22 by 34 inch paper map. You're going to get two sheets of counters, one of units, one of markers. You're going to get a 16 page exclusive rules, you know, rules exceptions, rules specialization for this battle, along with a 16-page uh, Blind Sword series rules. This is the 1.2 2024 edition. Two half-sheets displays for activation of the Confederate and Union Brigades. Two semi-identical, uh, let's see, sequence of play, uh, terrain effect charts, and then on the opposite side is a Union and Confederate event description sheet, and then two identical combat resolution tables along with the cohesion test tables and the terrain keys and on the back side if you get the bagged version this is going to be your cover and then on the back either way you're going to get the turn track 
and the broken track along with two dice and white one this time and that is everything that comes in the box prelude to victory Chickasaw Bayou December 26th to 29th 1862 part of the American Civil War series from Revolution Games thank you so much for watching God bless you bye bye oh